Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Slauson here and welcome to another great Frank Slauson Show video. Video that I've been promising that I was going to make for a little while anyway, for anybody that's been following me on YouTube or Facebook or whatnot here. Oh, <clears throat> well, first of all, I just want to say, I want to say thank you to everybody who, uh, to watch the interviews that I did on my little special uh, Road to WrestleMania series that I put together. I want to thank uh, Fred Ottman, who played Tugboat, uh, the Shockmaster, and Typhoon. Uh, I want to thank Brian Blair, who is a uh, former member of the tag team known as the Killer Bees. And also I want to thank uh, Chavo Guerrero Sr. for letting uh, let me uh, do an interview with him to learn uh, where he taught us a lot about uh, the Guerrero family and the legacy that the Guerreros uh, meant to wrestling and stuff and and how they kind of paved the way for future wrestling, future generations to come more or less. They're one of the, the most powerful wrestling families or most powerful families in wrestling anyway when it comes to knowing their stuff anyway. And obviously they're not the only ones. There's a lot of other uh, people that are in, the, in that are uh, the popular families as well but it was just an, an honor to, to chat with Chavo and it was pretty cool, so I, I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody who uh, who uh, let me uh, interview them. But let me get <laughs> hold on here. <laughs> I get my seatbelt on, and we're just gonna start going. We're gonna go to Thief River today. I got some time now, and I'm, I'm not gonna explain why I have time to do this because it's normally on a Friday and and, and whatnot. But uh, it's Friday today. Friday. What day is it today? March 22nd, 2012, or 2013, and welcome to the second or third day of spring <laughs> here in Minnesota. Springtime, uh, where the flowers are blooming and the grass is nice and green and the sky is blue. Well, the sky is always blue. The sun's always yellow or orange or red or whatever color you, whatever color it wants to be at night or day or whatever. But it's just a beautiful spring day. It feels like it's such a nice day to go for a bike ride, almost like. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't know, our springtime, compared to what it was like last year, our springtime this year has really been, has really took a shit on us, I tell you that much. Uh, it's been, more or less, if anything, it's been, it has been springtime like it's supposed to be, you know. And that's kind of a bummer because, you know, I, I was looking forward to the, the weather being nice. It's a nice day today. You know, it's like in the 30s or 40s, but it's like, we just got done having like another storm not too long ago, a few days ago, and yeah, it kind of, kind of beats the shit out of that sometimes, but anyway, I'm not really here to talk about the weather and stuff, or, you know, I, I got requested from, from a few people anyway that wanted to see me do a, you know, it's been a long time since I've done an Around the Town video, and I figure I got some time now to do this, uh, because I... I, I was talking about uh, an announcement that I was going to make as far as uh, the future of the Frankie Slauson Show is concerned. And uh, as far as my YouTube stuff anyway goes. Well, I have decided that uh, starting, I was going to wait until the day after WrestleMania. You know, I was thinking about waiting until the day after WrestleMania. But uh, uh, by the power of God and just because I, I guess I'm kind of lucky, you know, in a way kind of lucky, but I don't know how lucky. But I have some time, I guess, now to uh, to, uh, to to do it. Start it a week earlier. I'm gonna bring back my daily vlogs for. I was gonna do it for like a month, for like 30 days, from like April 8th to May 8th. But I decided I want to do it starting uh, Monday, April 1st to May 31st. One video every day, regardless if it's a around the town video or. They'll you know, be at my house or whatever I decide to come up with, but I will have a guaranteed new video, even if it's an interview. Even if it's an interview video, 
I will have something up that I have done, and it'll be great. So I'm going to head to see Fibber here, and uh, when I get there, I don't know who I'm going to run into. I'm going to try to find some old friends today and see if anybody wants to hang out, see if anybody's still around. Anyway, I've hung out with a lot of people in a long time, so yeah, we're going to do that, and uh, we'll see you a little bit here on the Frank Soft Show on YouTube.com. Alright everybody, Frank Sloss here, welcome back to Frank Sloss Show, we're almost to Sea Fibber, you can see Sea Fibber kind of over there, <laughs> kind of close anyway, we're getting there anyway, this used to be my old former hometown of, well where I used to live, I lived here about three, three different times, you know, three different, three different times of my life I guess I could say, in the last ten years or so, but uh, yeah, Looking forward to, uh, to getting to see if we're here. Just having a day to spend with some friends, and I'm going to go see a movie. I'm going to go see the movie The The Croods tonight. I don't know if you guys ever heard anything about that. It, it's like a caveman movie, but it's like an animated animated movie, like CGI and stuff. And they got the Oz, uh, the great wonderful Oz, or great power Oz, but played. But I, I don't know. I, I think, you know... You, you know, there's a lot of Wizard of Oz remakes out there nowadays, and it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, this one might be good, but I'd rather go see an animated movie. The Fruit, I don't even know what it's really about, so I know it's like based on the team band, but I really don't know what the story is, I mean, but, but it looks like it's going to be something kind of fun, and, and I uh, I want to see it tonight, so I got a little bit of money, so I'm going to go see it, Then I'll give you my review after we uh, after go see the movie and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, almost to see Fibber. Big old train going by. Like it says, nice spring day. <laughs> Get a little snow everywhere. I'm sure the weather in you guys' area is a lot nicer than it is over here. I'm sure there probably is no snow in most of the United States, but I remember I still live in northern Minnesota, so yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Some things never end. Hang out with my, my good buddy John, who's going to his house. He grabs something. Grabs something that we're going to bring back to Walmart. Oh, just got done eating at Arby's. Had a good little had a good little lunch with uh, my good friend John. I, I figure if anything, there'd be one friend that I would have that would be around, that would be free, that would be in a, available to hang out for today. You know, he was kind of surprised that I showed up, and I, you know, I never gave any warning or anything like that. I just, you know, I just showed up, you know, and it happily is working out. We're going to go see the movie The Croods here pretty soon and uh, go to Walmart for a little bit and look around. And uh, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all that's really planned. Uh, just, uh, it's just kind of nice just to come down here and to my old, my old roots of Sea Fever. And I'm sure you guys remember John's house, you know. Remember hanging out. We did a Christmas video together. A couple of years ago, we went to Grand Forks, uh, did some Christmas shopping. Well, it's, well, the time when I realized that I could make longer videos on my account now, over 15 minutes long. Yeah, that's kind of nice. John's a good guy. He's one of those friends that uh, definitely uh, are, are blessed to have because a lot of my friends that I used to have aren't, aren't around anymore. You know, either aren't around because of, of just time, or or aren't around because they moved away, or they moved on to better better things, or a couple of friends, you know, I lost from suicide, you know, and a, a while back, and that was close to, and it's just like, so it's nice to keep your, you know, if anything, keep some of your friends around if, if you can, even if you don't hang out with them as much as you used to, but, you know, I mean, that's why I was kind of happy to, to, do, to hang out with John, because he's a, he's a good guy, he's, he's a very nice guy, he's, he's about 54 years old, and, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with age. Uh, we we just have a lot in common, and he's just one of those guys that I he definitely has a lot of wisdom that I can learn from. And I've always always liked older people, you know that because and I always had respect for older people because they've they paved the way for us younger younger people, and as we us younger people have paved the way for the even more younger generation to come. And it's just a, a circle of life, more or less, <laughs> more than anything else. But anyway, other than that. Uh, other than that, we just uh, had one of those Arby, uh, went to Arby's, had a roast beef sandwich, uh, 
it was a Reuben sandwich, more or less. Like you saw the, they, they, they released those new commercials for uh, the Reuben sandwich. And it's like, get out of here. You know, that one guy says, you want me to, you really, you still want me to get out of here? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, that's all I have to say for now. We're going to give you a review of the, the, the Crudes movie, and then I'll show you if I get anything from Walmart today. Because uh, I might do, might look around a little bit. Because I have a little bit of money, but I just, you know, just because I want to. Alright, see you a little bit. <laughs> uh. Here comes my friend John. There he comes. <laughs> Say hi, you're on Canon camera. <laughs> John, I'd like to introduce you to my brand new camera that you've never seen before. Well, I paid I paid eighty bucks for this a, a couple of years ago for for Christmas time, and oh. and this is what the, the this is the uh, camera I used when I went to Oregon, and I filmed my four-hour movie. <laughs> and was now it, you're on a video now. Was it Oregon? No. Oregon, Oregon, whatever. Was it Oregon? Go, go, go play the skin flute there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took me a little while. Oh, no, that's I had okay. To take a piss, and then I, yeah. and I wanted to check TV to see what basketball games were on, and I had to get my DVD, and then I had to you got the receipt? drink a five-hour energy. And you I got a receipt now for your thing? Yep. Yep. Hopefully there's no big long line over there, hopefully, but for customer service, but I guess we'll see. Well, at least they get, you know, one thing I'll say about the speeder is they usually get some good movies sometimes. You know? Sure. Oh, let's uh, see. Although sometimes their choices are, I don't know, I question their choices sometimes. Only two theaters and sometimes they pick any crappy movies. Yeah. So what do you think of the, the movie The Croods? I give it <laughs> Five stars. Yeah? Two thumbs up. And why is that? <laughs> why very, should people see very, this movie? Very funny, very hip, very humorous, very laugh out loud funny, yep. very, very high quality animation, good yep. story, <laughs> good music, <laughs> cute, cute characters. Oh, yeah. So, is there some funny parts that really made you laugh out loud, like you were saying? Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, there were quite a few. I can't even I don't spoil well, anything one, here. One of the best ones though, was when he when he was on that balancing rock and that rock big rock tip went fell off yeah. top of him and then <laughs> the other thing jumped on him or something. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie. I think it it was really, really good and I think uh, I mean we had our choice of seeing Oz or the the cruise, but you said you were seen Oz already and I've never seen it, but maybe I'll oh. see when it comes out on the UD or something. Oh no, you gotta see the movie. Yeah, but they don't have a 3D option over here. Well, I'll go to this guy works it. Yeah, I guess I, I might have to. <laughs> I, would like, I would like to see it again in 3D, because you know, I mean, it was good even in 2D. 3D yeah, in 3D. and I guess the Croods was available in 3D as well, but see, in this theater, they don't offer 3D over here, the Fall Cinema. Yeah, cheap. I thought they'd have lights and stuff for, uh, on here too, but maybe they shut them off for the... Probably since they would be closing pretty soon. Well, for the night, home, James. All right, well... <laughs> <laughs> that was our little review of the cruise, and John, by the way, happy erection day. <laughs> oh, happy erection day. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, arr. <laughs> well, here I am at McDonald's, doing some filet of fish. Fully steam ahead and enjoy flail fish. <laughs> yeah, just enjoying some little meal at McDonald's. It's a way to close the video. Look at that goodness there, huh? <laughs> well, thanks for tuning into my video for today and. Uh, Definitely see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.